Hello and welcome to my first Texas Chainsaw Massacre little video on YouTube. Today uh, we're going to go through the tutorial modes and show you uh, how to play the game. Uh, and, that's, and I will be live streaming this very soon. But we're going to go through it and I will show you the tutorials. Here's the main menu of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You've got the public family. You can play as a family. That's the family Sawyer or you can be the victims but we're going down to the tutorial page this shows you with little video clips how to play the game so let's get into it first we're going to start off with victims you've been captured by the slaughter family tied up tortured and left for dead you must do whatever it takes to escape the family's property at all costs find your friends Hunt for life, saving items like tools, bone scraps and health. But more importantly, locate and open up escape routes before it's too late. So the family is hunting, so move quietly and make the right decisions. Your life depends on it. Stay quiet and hidden. Move slowly to avoid making excessive noise. The family is hunting, so... Uh, Use shadows and tall foliage to stay hidden. Take cover behind all objects to break line of sight. And last but not least, use the environment to your advantage. Wall gaps, crawl spaces and unique hiding spots like freezers, armoires and even vehicle trunks can be used to evade the family. Use them. Watch out for objects that make noise. Moving too fast through the environment can spell disaster. Searching for items slowly will drastically increase your chance of survival. Even moving too fast through doors can give away your location, so stay calm and move quietly. The family is always listening. Find useful items. Tools can be used to break locks on doors. Health items can heal you while bone scraps can be used to sneak attack or even confront the family directly. These items can mean the difference between life and death. You can only carry two items at a time, so choose wisely and try to plan ahead. Unlock X6, the heavy metal doors almost always led out of the basement. Find and open them. Lead out of the basement. Open up st stairs. Keep moving if possible. There are multiple escape routes located on the outer edges of the property, so find a way to open them. Some escape objectives like the fuse box and water valve pump require specific items to activate them. These items can be found scattered around the property, be on the lookout. Escape the family. Having trouble finding an escape option? When in doubt, head towards the main road or rear gate. Those are usually the easiest options if you can get there. The water valve gate and basement door exits are also available options if you can find the necessary parts to activate, to activate them. The basement door requires you to find and repair the fuse box, while the water valve gate needs the pressure valve handle to open. Once fixed, the escapes will open up for you and your team. Use your abilities to stay alive. At the right time, they can mean the difference between life and death. Be careful with those, star sign abilities have a cooldown that will prevent overuse, so plan wisely. Remember you have been captured, beaten and tortured, so your injuries are severe, you need to escape before they succumb to your wounds. As the match continues you will start to bleed out more and more, be wary of leaving blood trails behind, you can be tracked. Health items can slow this process but can stop it, escape is the only option. Fellow, find your fellow victims and working together is recommended but not required. Grouping with teammates can have multiple advantages but your total nulls output, output might also increase. Choose your strategy wisely. The only question is who will survive and will be left of them? What will be left of them? Right, and that was the tutorial for the f victims. Let's try the family this time. You're part of the family now. It's up to you to secure the property and stop victims from escaping. The family way of life depends on it. 
Keep all doors locked and make sure all exits are closed, trapped and guarded. Make sure to monitor crucial pieces of equipment like generators, the fuse box and the water valve pump. The status of his arsons play a huge role in whether or not victims will have an easy path to escape. Make sure to collect blood from drainage buckets scattered around the map or by attacking victims directly. Feed this newly acquired blood to Grandpa to make him stronger and more effective. The stronger he is, the more powerful his sonar ability will become. Pretty soon he will be finding and highlighting victims for the whole family to see. Feed Grandpa enough and he will give the whole family new abilities that can be used for the rest of the match. Remember, Grandpa is the best killer there ever was. Hunt down the victims using abilities and teamwork. Look for signs of movement and listen for noise. Pay attention to your surrounds and keep your eyes and ears open. You never know where one of those victims might be hiding. Speaking of abilities, each family member has a unique ability that can help hunt and track down victims. Careful though, some abilities have a limited quantities while others are on cooldown, so hunt wisely. Once you locate and find a victim, make sure you have a plan. Try to set up ambushes to catch them off guard. The direct approach isn't always the best, so use your fellow family members when possible. But once your plan unfolds, you get within rage. Hit them, then hit them again. And remember, if you do manage to successfully hit and execute a victim, take the blood to Grandpa. He's hungry and, and needs his strength in order to help you. Don't let a single victim escape. After all, we win as a family or we lose as a family. My people, that was the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed that. I will be back for some live streams and more videos of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre technical test soon. So remember to keep subscribed, hit the like button and follow Warwick at, on Twitter at Warwick. So I'll see you until the next little video or live stream of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's bye-bye.